A small tornado focused on blowing away leaves and other garbage from your sidewalk, garden, or driveway. No problem with the Lea Leaf Blower. The box contains the following parts. Collection bag, shoulder strap, elbow fitting, motor unit, two-part blower pipe, two-part vacuum pipe, a spark plug wrench, and last but not least, an explicit manual. Connect the two blower pipes. Pay attention that the notch aligns with a corresponding slot and click the pipes firmly together. Remove the screw from the motor unit. And again, align the notch with the corresponding slot. Thereafter, click the pipe into the motor unit. Replace the screw and fasten it firmly with a Phillips screwdriver at the end of the spark plug wrench. Ready! Further on, we will show you how to convert the leaf blower into a leaf collector with a built-in shredder. First, we'll fill the fuel tank with two-stroke gasoline. Vent the tank and fill her up. To start the engine, turn the motor switch to the ON position. Depress the pump 5 to 10 times until you feel resistance. You can see the gasoline flowing through the tube. Put the choke in the UP position. Depress the throttle trigger and pull the starter cord until you hear the motor attempting to start. Push back the choke and pull the starter cord again. The motor will now start and you can start working. If the motor is already warmed up, you don't need to use the choke, which is in the down position. Put the motor switch in the on position and start your engine. We now take the Leah blower outside and gladly demonstrate its power. Its two-stroke air-cooled engine using its optimized blower nozzle with an airspeed of up to 275 kilometers per hour will blow all your leaf litter where you want it. Our slow motion images demonstrate how much litter the leaf blower actually moves in a single motion. The center of gravity is centered at the handle. You need only to point the blower. When you are finished blowing the leaves into one pile, it is a small effort to convert the blower into a vacuum device and suck up all your leaves. Loosen the screw and remove the blower tube. Unzip the collection bag and push the collection bag tube through the opening at the other side of the bag. This is a tight fit, as it should be. Now connect the elbow fitting in the same way you connected the blower tube. Align the notch with the intake. Press and turn the pipe 90 degrees. Replace the screw and fasten it firmly with the Phillips screwdriver. Slide the two sections of vacuum tube into each other and rotate as shown here. Open the air intake. Attention! Opening the compartment activates a safety switch, which prevents the machine from starting. The machine can only be started with the vacuum tube in place or a safety covering over the shredder compartment. The shredder blades will grind the vacuumed leaf litter into tiny bits. Connect the vacuum tube to the air intake of the engine. Remember to align the notch with the slot. Press firmly. Gently move back and forth. Turn 90 degrees and your tube is locked in place. Attach the adjustable shoulder strap and we're almost ready to get started. Adjusting the strap to your personal working length is easily done by moving the clip on the strap. 
we are ready to clean up leaf litter and shred it at the same time. It's like regular vacuum cleaning outdoors with much more power. The powerful engine not only vacuums leaf litter and small twigs, but much more, as you can see in our rerun. To empty the collection bag, simply unzip it and turn it upside down. A square meter of leaves, that's a lot, is reduced to a pile a few centimeters high. Shredded leaf litter makes for better compost. Blowing and piling leaves has become a simple job. The Lea two-stroke hand blower will certainly not disappoint you. Lea, the best choice for your garden.